Hi, we're here with Kendra C. Johnson. Kendra, you're saying busy as an actress. We've seen you in Fat Girls. We've seen you in a lot of things. Uh, how do you do it all? How do you do it and keep busy and everything? Well, I never feel like I'm busy enough. That's a good but, point. Um, but um, just, I mean, I guess just prioritizing and trying to make sure I take time for myself uh -huh. and um, and just, you know, just trying to stay committed to my career and to my dream and all that stuff. And, and, and staying committed to your career and dream, I mean, many people have a hard time, number one, coming up with a dream. Is this the type of dream you've always had? Y yes, I didn't know it, but, um, but I did. I mean, I, my mother says that I... At three years old, I was I was on stage, and um, I um, from I think I, I must have been about five years old when I started um, going to drama classes. Wow, and that's early. Classes, and yeah, I mean I did like tap, ballet, dance, piano, drama, voice, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and you really got involved. I did, and my parents really nurtured that um, growing up. But I just I kind of didn't. I mean I'm I'm from Connecticut, and you just don't kind of grow up in Connecticut thinking, okay, I can like grow up and do this for real. Right, and, right. You know, a real career out of it. Um, and my parents never discouraged me, but it just wasn't necessarily the culture. It's not like growing up in LA where right, you know right. you're around stars all the time so so at what point did you finally say that's it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make it because many people they get to that point and then they say oh, there's just too much competition forget it well I actually I was working um, in human resources for the four major sport and entertainment venues in Charlotte North Carolina and I went into um, the Coliseum what well, the Charlotte Coliseum was one of the buildings I, I worked for I went into the Coliseum manager's office because he was he's been a true mentor wow. um, for me and I said to him it was the first time I ever said it out loud and I said to him I'm thinking about moving to Los Angeles thinking that he would say you're crazy go back in your office go back to work you know right which most like, would yeah, say exactly and he looked at me and he said when are you leaving and I said when am I leaving? <laughs> you want to get rid of me that quick? <laughs> what do you mean? It's my position being <laughs> downside. But um, and he was just very encouraging, and he said, you know, go. He was like, why not, and why not now? And I literally, uh, how many months later was that? Four months later, I believe, left. So four months, and you just you went and did it, and you immersed yourself. Yep, yep. You I got, just you got it right. Yeah, I know. I had to, we, I we'll look it up on <laughs> Google. No. <laughs> Well, thank you so very much. That's thank inspiring you. and encouraging thank to all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Están sus hijos teniendo problemas en la escuela porque no les gusta leer? ¿Le dicen que todo les aburre? Este otoño vea cómo sus calificaciones mejoran con una suscripción a la revista Latin. Una revista nueva para jóvenes latinos que les encantará leer. Compre una suscripción ahora. Llame al 1-800-816-1260. Con tan solo 3 dólares asegura el futuro de sus hijos. Llame al 1-800-816-1260. Es el 1-800-816-1260. Sus hijos les darán las gracias.